All the best new Apple Watch apps. And I'll show you how you can hold the whole world in the palm of your hand. And in the palm of my hand, I have the new Power Beats Pro. Oh, I'm excited. It's time for iOS Today. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Protect your online privacy with one click. Yep, it's that easy. For three extra months free with a one-year package, go to expressvpn.com slash iOS today. And by Atlassian. Atlassian software powers the full spectrum of collaboration between IT teams and the rest of your organization. Visit atlassian.com slash IT to see what IT can be by giving their products a try for free. And by Aftershocks, an unbelievably comfortable open-ear headphone. Hear music and crystal-clear phone calls like never before. Visit iostoday.aftershocks.com and use the code IOS today for $50 off the tech bundle. We'd like to know a little bit more about how you use collaborative software at work. We've got a six-minute survey. It's brief, but it will help us out if you go to twit.to slash survey14. Welcome. It's time to talk about the iPad, the iPhone, the Apple Watch, and the Apple TV with me, Megan Maroney. And me, Leo Laporte. I think we're reading the teleprompter just oh, yeah, a little are. too Sorry. closely. Scroll down a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait, we don't have a teleprompter. We have to change the name. The show name is, is unacceptable. It is. We've had this name for quite some time. We were iPad today. Then mm -hmm. when we uh, decided to cover everything, we went to iOS today. And nobody's complained except that when we tried to make a uh, Apple TV app, we have been rejected. Your app does not comply with the guidelines because it has iOS in the app name or subtitle in an inappropriate manner. <laughs> it's not called... Screw you, iOS, today. It's not the first time we've been called inappropriate, but it's the first time we've been called inappropriate for our name. So, I, you know, we either have to change the name of the show. We could change the name of the app. Why don't we yeah. change the name of the app? Asterisk Today. Uh, yeah. Featuring iOS Today. Why don't we do that? Asterisk Today. Heart or Today. We could I just heart you call today. it something um, like monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess the show name's okay, but not. Yeah. I mean, we if we switched it back to iPad today, or can you not use the word iPad in an app either? That seems weird. Because it's like, you know, Instagram for iPad. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me. Okay. The ways of Apple are many and strange. So we're asking you. Uh, what should we Megan do? Megan at twit.tv, what should we do? What, what should, should we, we rename do? the app? I suggested iOS today one word, but apparently no, no, uh, Apple not, is smarter than that. <laughs> and and John says it should be i zero s today. No. I okay number one zero. I think Apple speaks five late. number one v. v I think zero, just five. asterisk today. Okay. And then in the and then you could have a footnote that <laughs> says asterisk. Really means iOS. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. It's an unusual situation that we did not anticipate. You notice I my pad, my iPad looks a little bit more like a laptop it today. Does. And no, notice I can do that. Oh, and nice. That, and you can that, fold and your that, laptop. And that, and that, and that, and that, you don't even need that. a Lenovo. No, I don't. In fact, I could do that. You ready for this? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, what? What the what? I can even do this. What, why would? Oh, to back. And yeah. then that. Oh, nice. Doesn't close why fully. Why would you want to? <laughs> I see you were not touching the keys on the other side when you're. Maybe that's it. Um, this is the finally it came. It's I, the Microsoft Surface running it's the iOS. Surface. <laughs> no, it's the Bridge Keyboard B R Y D G E, and it finally came. I ordered it on uh, Kickstarter. In January, I think, and it took yeah. them a little longer to make. Mm -hmm. But uh, so this is in this is it, believe it or not, given price per pound is fantastic because given that it costs thirty bucks less than the Apple Smart Keyboard and it has real, you know, actual physically moving keys, plus uh, all the function keys that you would expect from an iOS device, it even has a Siri button. Well, hello Siri. 
Who is going to win the Game of Thrones? <laughs> I couldn't find any awards for that film. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Who is Daenerys Targaryen? Spoilers. Okay, I found this. Oh, don't look at that. Because <laughs> those are actually spoilers. I, I didn't do any, but they did. Oh. Um, that is kind of nice, having a Siri button. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have one on your iPad, but now you have it on your keyboard. Mm -hmm. It's got control, option, command. It doesn't have a couple of things. It doesn't have one because uh, iOS doesn't support it. It doesn't have a trackpad. It feels like it ought to. Yeah, it's got room. It certainly has the room. And it, by the way, this is designed to actually look like a MacBook. They even have that MacBook style notch. Comes in silver. This is slate gray because that's what I have is a slate gray. Oh, and I, here's another thing that I think they did nicely because it is just a keyboard. But in order to give you a kind of a case feeling, they give you a magnetic piece of plastic. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So you could take that off if yeah. you wanted. You have to, it can actually position in a variety of ways. I don't, I have yet to see, besides the Apple keyboards, anything that uses the new IO, uh, iPad Pro uh, smart connectors. Yeah. Remember when the smart connector was on the bottom, uh -huh. all the keyboards worked with it. But this, but now I think nobody wants to tr go to the trouble of kind of making something that does that. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so these have little clips and it slides into the clip like that. And, uh, and then once it's in the clip, and you gotta really get it in there. Once it's in the clip, then you can have it be any angle, which I think is very good. I like that. It has, you know, same as the Apple keyboard, you know, Command H is home and Command Space is search and all that stuff. How's the travel on the keys? Oh, well, try it. It feels like, it actually feels like it's a better Ooh, keyboard than the MacBook. <laughs> it's, uh, it moves, and it's not the butterfly keys, it's a little more. You know, like old-fashioned keyboards where they're a little more wobbly. But I, I actually like that. Now, do you do that thing? I do this thing on my iPad. Um, I was trying to figure out a name for it. Where you, your thumb kind of goes to reach for the um, for the trackpad. Track that's yeah, not there, it's like very phantom frustrating. Thumb. In fact, this is so much like a laptop. You kind of end up doing that exactly. You, you know, you don't. You're not. You're not as likely to reach out and touch your mm -hmm. iPad because oh, I don't yeah. know why, but there's something about it. Uh, I guess because it's not quite as close because of the of the uh, wrist rest. Yeah. Now the negatives. Um, it is cheaper than the smart uh, keyboard, Apple's own, but it's expen. It is relatively expensive. A uh, hundred, depending. You has they have one for the eleven and one for the twelve point nine, the new iPad Pros, and it is a hundred seventy dollars for the. So Apple's is two hundred bucks. So this is one hundred seventy dollars for the twelve point nine, and I think it's one hundred fifty dollars for the eleven inch. Um, look, has little bottom nubbies, <laughs> just like a real. And it's Bluetooth, so it has a battery in it mm. that you charge. They say a one-year battery, but I'll, I'll ask me next year, okay, and I'll tell well, you. I'm sure you'll still But it has it. a Type-C. But well, the other thing that's interesting is if you did lose your battery, it comes with a Type-C to Type-C cable. You could just plug it into your iPad, mm -hmm. and it would kind of keep it going uh, that way, even though you'd have to have an extra wire. The other negative, and I'll, I'll show you if uh, you go to the two-shot, I'm going to hand my iPad to Megan mm -hmm. and watch what happens. <laughs> it's a it's a pound and a half. It that is heavy. The keyboard is a pound Even and a half. Even me with my big guns, yeah. this is heavy. So this is now like two and a half pounds. It's yeah. like a la it's a laptop and it's thick too. I mean, it looks like a laptop, kind of acts like a laptop. The I think where this might come into its own is when iOS uh, 13 comes out mm -hmm. because that's the one that's supposed to give the iPad Pro all the kind of desktop. Features. Sorry about that buzz. That was me plugging my amp, <laughs> plugging my guitar into the amp. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the bridge. I think it's if you're, you know, if you're buying a new iPad Pro and you want a keyboard, you want to make it as much like a laptop. You know, you see people like Jason Snell really using it as a laptop as they travel around. Mm -hmm. This does that. It really, I mean, it's a that's a real keyboard. It's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a Bluetooth pairing key. It has an on-off switch, so you can. I don't know why, but you. Oh, and one other thing I really like. Notice the. Well, you probably can't, but. The keys light up, oh, which is yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Three levels of mm -hmm. backlighting, off, on, and bright-ish. There is, as you can see, and a lot of people have complaints about this where you get leaking from the underneath the keys, but I don't know how you're supposed to do a keyboard that doesn't have uh, a little leakage. Mm -hmm. To me, though, the ability to use the iPad type at night is nice because yeah. you don't have backlights on the backlight on the smart keyboard from Apple. So there you go. That's that's it. Bridge B R Y D G E. Pre-orders now. I get. I got a little early because I did the Kickstarter months ago. But I imagine they're close now to getting this uh, into everybody's hands. And so when you use that, and then you switch over to your Mac, do you find yourself touching your Mac? 
Well, I still, I've always have done that. <laughs> I've always done that. It's funny because I touch my iPad less doing this. It's just, it's yeah. your brain is a, a miasma of why. That's true. Um, but I did come, I asked for names for that on Twitter and I wish I remembered who tweeted this, but um, that's called a Mac steak. When you touch it's a Mac, a Mac steak. A Mac I make steak. Mac steaks all the time. <laughs> a Mac steak. Or I call them pad oops. Yeah. Pad oops. I make pad oops all That's the good time. Too. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to talk about Apple Watches, Apple Watch apps. Yeah. Actually, we don't do this enough because no. honestly, uh, one of the things if you wear an Apple Watch, you're going to look for when you buy an app on your iPhone is you're going to want to see if there's something on here. Complications especially, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do it. Um, so the Apple Watch uh, Watch OS is going to change soon, and we'll talk about that when it comes out. But now, right now, you don't have to wait for that because there's some good apps. One thing that I have wanted on the Apple Watch is a good Instagram app. I know that seems odd, but sometimes you're sitting, you're waiting in line, you don't want to take your phone out. You just want to like swipe through, see what kind of selfies your kids are posting. In oh, the like an Instagram cool browser. I would thought you might say like to post to Instagram, but that would be kind of dumb because you yeah. have to have the phone for the no, camera. No, no, to just browse. But to, to browse to it, be that makes a, sense. Yes, to be an in Instagram see, lurker. See, people little, because honestly, I'm realizing more and more, programs like Instagram are basically time wasters for when you're in the line mm -hmm. at the grocery store, mm -hmm. DMV. You're, you, what you do is you take, open your phone and you say, what can I do mm -hmm. to kill some time? Right. And that's exactly. what Instagram is. Exactly. So there, there was an Instagram app for the Apple Watch. It was terrible. Um, so this one is called- <laughs> That was the official one. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if they update it anymore. Um, this one is called Lens and it's by uh, Ruben Catchpole. And it is free, but you can pay a little bit to um, get- some, I think just to pay for development. I don't know if there are any pro features. It's just like $1.99 if you, if you like I, it. I always pay the guys because, yeah. yeah. So here it is on my uh, watch. What so are I the three go, categories? So we the can't really three see categories those. are home. There's more than three categories. So home is just your feed. Um, stories, you can look at people's stories. Activity, who's liked your stuff. Explore, if you want to find other people. Messages for your Twitter messages. Nice. And you can look at your profile or you can search. You know, he should also have a fifteen ninety nine version that comes with a little magnifying glass. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, so uh, That's Ashley. That's a picture. I think it's a car. It's Ashley Esketha's car. It looks like a Tesla. Yeah, I think she got um, a Tesla. Yeah, yeah, so I can make it a little bigger. And of course, I can like it, which I will. Oh, well, I that's I could nice. even comment. Um, she wow. says, one year ago today, I became best friends with this Shadow Whip. Is that a name? Shadow Whip. A it's a new car? flavor of ice cream. <laughs> I think it's the Tesla. Black. That's my friend Naomi, who owns a pizza place, Lunchette. And nice. she's showing some pizzas. See, this is why I don't do Instagram. Um, it just makes me hungry. Yeah, and exactly. I buy stuff. Um. Who's that? Oh, there's Mike Elgin uh, and his wife, his beautiful wife. Oh, Can you tell what's like that too? See, I couldn't tell because um, it's just a blob. And then the wire cutter, um, uh, that's Kirby Howell ba Baptiste, who is on my three favorite shows. Influencer. Uh, she's an actress. She's on The Good Influencer. Place. Influencer. She's on The Good Place and she is on uh, Killing Eve and Barry. Influencer. She's an influencer. Oh, she was good on Barry. I like she her was on Barry. Real, she's yeah. still on Barry. Yeah. yeah, she's still. She's, she's like, very it's good. a minor role, but she's still good. Yeah. yeah. And she's on The Good Place. Okay, so enough I of my feed here. Place. Stories. Yeah. So I could even watch people's stories. Let's see what Micah Sargent has got on his Instagram story. There's does the video pictures. play or no? Yes, wow. it does. Let me find a video. This is a testament to the amount of power Apple has built into this little tiny computer on your wrist. Yeah, so here, uh, well, you know, it's like, I'm not going to really enjoy. This is Mo, who uh, works with us, his picture. Uh, the word enjoy and Instagram don't often go together. <laughs> well, I enjoy Mo's uh, picture, His pictures are and great. And you should definitely follow him. So I'll say like, oh, look, I just saw on Mo's story as a new post. I'm going to go check that out. What's his Instagram on my handle? Let's give him a plug. Mr. Luna underscore photo with an F. Mr. Dot Luna, L-U-N-A underscore photo. Um, with an F. We can put that in the show notes too. Yeah. So nice. um, I can also see the activity, like who's, look, who's commented, uh, my son liked my post. Thank goodness. All those things. Um, Mo, is, can, Mo, by the way, works with us. He's our, he does. He's our guard. And I can even like look and respond to messages. I'm not going to open that because this is <laughs> Instagram messages is how I communicate with my children. We don't talk anymore. It's all Instagram messages. So, so I was talking about this last night with my kid who's now in his 20s about is do the, do the uh, young people like Instagram? And yeah, mm -hmm. they do. Yeah, Instagram, it's interesting how Instagram is really succeeded where snapchat started to fall apart and mm -hmm. I, I know that a lot of people use tiktok but instagram is very popular still 
I mean, my uh, daughter still is a diehard uh, Snapchat user, but I yeah. think it's, she does Instagram too. And I think she's finding Snapchat less and less interesting. I and I was, wait, yeah, I was waiting for my boys to ask for Snapchat. I was like, well, when you turn 13, I'll give it to you. And then they never asked and now they're 14 and they don't care. So is there, I don't think there, I don't use Snapchat, but is there a Snapchat app for the Apple watch? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I don't think See? so. They're missing, uh, they're missing the boat on so that. So Lens by Instagram and, you know, pay your developer, $199. i am a fan of anything that I can make a complication. Mm. Those are the little uh, doohickeys on the face of the Apple Watch. And notice I'm using Info Modular, the, the newest, uh, one of the newest faces, because it has so many freaking complications. One, two, whoops, buckle my shoe. Three, four, five. The middle one is the big, in, uh, the big one, and... This is, Apple's calendar does have a, uh, a complication, but this is fantastic, Hal, which I think if you look at, and I don't know, you probably can't read it, but it says what time, iOS Today Show. It shows me blocks, uh, and then it pulls, if you tap it, it pulls me right into, and look, even maps and stuff, pulls me right into my uh, calendar. So fantastic, Hal, works on the iPhone. I've recommended it in the past uh, as a calendar replacement on the iPhone. And I particularly like, it's it's if you if you have a watch face that allows the larger the big complications the new big complications i particularly like that so my appointments show up nice and big well as big as anything is on this watch <laughs> nice and big on, on my watch so that's i think fantastic how's uh, well worth getting you can see here when you look at your um watch face you can choose the complications top left top right data sources and all that that's the old info uh, info uh, modular, or actually, that's the Siri. Here's the infograph modular. So I have date, the, and I'll show you what some of these are. Uh, but but the number one, I, we, I, we were going to take turns because I don't talk, we talk, I talk too much. So fantastic, Cal. That's that's one, and it is by the way an excellent calendar app in general. Okay, uh, my next one. Not is free. My next app for, for my fun. next trick. Yeah. <laughs> Kernel. This is a brand new app. It's for yes, sir. Um, with a K. Oh. As in popcorn kernel. Um, so this is an app for the iPad, uh, the uh, iPhone, and the Apple Watch. And it is a movie release tracker. A movie release. So oh. If you, you know, you can't oh, wait until The that. Lion King comes out or you can't wait, you know, until. So um, I'll show it to you on my uh, Apple Watch and then I'll show it to you with a bigger version since it's a brand new app. Um, and I... Uh, so here it is. It's um, here. Here it is, <laughs> as you can see. So here are the. I'm uh, the favorite. I wanted to see when that was released. Um, Wine Country, which I haven't seen yet. Captain Marvel. So this oh, is oh. Wine Country. Definitely go see it. it. Was shot around here. Yeah. We were. We went to the Quintessa Winery. Was it Quintessa? No, we went to one of the wineries in uh, in Calistoga in Napa, and they said, "Oh, you can't come in. Amy Poehler's shooting right now." Uh, so I really want to see Wine Country. Yeah, I want to see That's it on too. Netflix, so it's on it? Netflix. It's released. Oh, so, so this isn't this just is, movies. This is actually my digital watch list. So, so you when get it's movies in theaters, but also yeah, yeah, because I don't really leave the house. So, that yeah, often. I don't so um, I pretend I'm going to go see a movie. <laughs> so yeah, so I want to wait till it comes to me. Um, so Captain Marvel, obviously out in the theaters, but I have 14 days to see it because I didn't see it. I didn't see us I in the theater. That, 21 yeah, yeah. days. Us is supposed to be really good. Yeah, so Lion King, I feel like that is. That's not here yet. Six days away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you so look, I, you're really on top of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm downloading this right now. So I tapped it, and I could read the um, you know the synopsis of the movie. If I want to um, go full screen, I can see um, just like here's more. I can see a full screen of the movie um, that I put on my list and um, movie release tracker. Wow. So yeah. So. You can see if it's released, and so let, let me show you. Kernel. I've been using Flickster, but the, uh, that's only movies in the theaters, and it's mm -hmm. you know this is so much better. This is so great. Let me show you the. Um, I'm downloading it right now. So theater, digital, and physical. So if you are you want to wait to find out when the DVD of Apollo Eleven wow. that was out today. Wow. Um. So theater, digital, and physical. So here's. So let's see. This what movie am I looking? What ad, do I want to add to my list? Rocket Man. So keep up to date so I can, um, I don't, I can get my notifications. Yes, 
Yes. I just love know, knowing reminders. what's coming to Netflix or Amazon Prime. That's right. Really so you nice. can see 100 days, 50 days, 30 days, you know, release day depending on how far nice. ahead you want to go. And then they also have a blog um, that has just different Stuff. information yeah. um, of if you're a movie fan. So this is um, a great app. And I... Um, Colonel. Colonel, and it's brand new. It's free with in-app purchases, but so you, I don't see... What am I buying? Because uh, it looks like... You can um, read the whole blog entry if you pay. Huh. Um, Ooh, look, wallpapers too. There's, there's That's not, nice. I think you can only limit, there's they a limited a amount of movies that you can put on your watch list if you don't pay. They've only got one episode of their podcast. But yeah, it's a brand new app. So this is um, so nice. Yeah. And it's by Minor Bits. And Minor Bits. I, Unlock. Uh, thank you. Track unlimited movies. Go be a, this is if you pay buck 99, not, yeah, not a whole lot. Access the kernel blog, remove ads. I haven't seen any ads yet, but you know what? Again, as I always do, I want to pay for that. Mm-hmm. Because what's a couple of bucks, and it's great to su support people who are yeah. doing something really cool. Yeah, it was created by Brian Brian Miner. Of nice, Miner Brian. Bits. Oh, that's one of the things. I love it. Good job finding one of these like un unheralded wonders. I think so because I um, you know, my dad. I, I took my parents out for dinner for Mother's Day. My dad. Nice. My dad can't be alone. But I'm just kidding. He can. He <laughs> he's not, he's, he uh, he just really wanted to come with us because um. He likes my mom a lot and me. Aww. So um, he showed me this note that he had on his um, phone that he keeps. Here it is. I'll show it. It's um, all of his movies that he watches. So here's the watching together. So that's him and my mom. He has this like just an Apple note. So he's on 11 of 12 of Better Things, number five of six. So he keeps it. And then he has these shows that he's watching alone. There were more, but I miss him in the screenshot. So I posted this on Twitter because I thought it was adorable. That's so cute. And then a lot of people gave me uh, apps Apps that, that will do that. that. So maybe I'll, I'll show those yeah. on an upcoming week. Maybe we'll do a whole TV. Because TV, like I said, it's my second job now. I just have to watch and keep up or else. I had a day off yesterday. What did I do? You watched. Rewatched Game of Thrones. Oh, rewatched. Impressive. That's, that's, that's when you really know you're wasting time. Watch a show you just watched the day before. And but do you it, watch Barry... Do you watch Barry? Yeah. And you watch Barry. Veep. Don't know Veep spoilers. I didn't I watch watched. Barry or Veep. I, oh, okay. I watched Game of Thrones twice. Because there's only one more. Yeah, but that was the season finale of Veep. I don't care. I'm watching Game of Thrones <laughs> twice. The other thing, somebody said this. I think this might be true. This might be the last show as a country mm -hmm. we all watch mm -hmm. on the same night. It's true. It used to be when I was growing up, you know, everybody watched Ed Sullivan when the yeah. Beatles were on. So the whole kind of, you'd watch Johnny and you'd come in Nash. in the morning. Yeah. There, people would all, because it was the only way you could watch it. Yeah. Even if you DVR'd it or t I guess in those days VHS recorded it, mm -hmm. you probably still watched it that night. Mm -hmm. Most people did. And they would talk about it the next day at work. Now we're so fragmented that doesn't happen. Game of Thrones might be the last show. Because everything else, they're, everything they want to, you know, binge it. So you talk about Stranger Things, but everybody's at a different point in Stranger mm -hmm. Things because they put it all out at once, right? Mm -hmm. So this it's could be, end. it's kind of the end of an era. So I'm going to keep watching it every night for the next, I don't know, till I get tired of it, year, two years, every night. I'm every gonna, night you're going to watch the season finale again? Yeah, because that's it. It's the last one. And someone might be out there watching it and you could just like tweet out, Here's anyone a little tip. watching it right now? Watch Game of Thrones again. Now, here's a little tip. If you install apps on your phone, you may forget that sometimes that I have it. Well, tip one is turn off auto install apps on your watch because you just clutter the darn thing up. But if you're going to do that, then tip two is you periodically go in the watch app and look at apps that they call them available apps. So these are the apps that are installed. Notice I, I install any, and this is another tip, install any airline app that has it, because then if you're at the airport, your watch will help you get to the gate and so forth. But these are the apps, and you may look through this periodically. I did last night to say, well, what should I talk about on the show today? There are apps on here that maybe you installed on your phone and forgot that there was a watch version of that. So in, in my, and maybe, maybe you're the kind of person that just has that box check that says, whenever I install an app, put it on my phone. I am that kind of person. You, so every app you install, it's automatically yeah. on the phone. Huh. Well, because I want to know, um, you know. Yeah. Okay, that's one solution. My but solution is to just check once through. in a while. Yeah. One app I've been looking at a lot lately. It, it probably has a complication, but I want to, I don't want, stocks. Just checking. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see how the Dow is today. Have you lost a little money in your uh, retirement fund? I don't check those things. Oh, it's up. Hallelujah. Well, you probably shouldn't. You'd smart not to. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, with the, when the stock market's going up or down, it's nice to be able to quickly check. Mm -hmm. And you can have a watch list of the stocks that, you know, that you've invested in. You can add a stock. And you have the heart rate monitor, too, so you can use those that's, together. So when that's the heart, other thing. You get that. By the way, shock. I put that as a complication. So this right. is not Apple's heart rate monitor. Mm. This is one called Cardiogram that I really like. So currently I'm 82 beats per minute. But if I tap it, it'll show me a graph. Actually, I'm down to 78 uh, mm -hmm. beats per minute. So you can start continuous recording. Um, oh, I'm, I just went up as soon as you look yeah. at it. Isn't this, that the case? Oh, yeah. Or goes was it up. stocks? It, oh, the stocks jumped my heart rate up 10, 20 <laughs> points. Um, so you can see, I really like this feature. This is Cardiogram. Uh, there is a uh, an app, of course. I mean, you, you can't, I don't think you can have an, a watch app without having, can you? No. Well, le the Lens app, the one for Instagram, it doesn't really have, I mean, it has an app, but it doesn't do right, anything. Right, because you have so. to install it. So yeah. here's a nice thing. Cardiogram app will, will, will also have, a, obviously, an easier to read screen. It has graphs, summaries, shows you your resting heart rate, your peak, your step count, your sleep duration. So this is a, this is a very nice uh, little app that co that's in addition to Apple's uh, health app. Uh, and then they have a they have some premium features as well, uh, which means I guess you can share with family and stuff like that. So that's cardiogram, but I I like it because again I'm looking for stuff that I can see on my watch face, and so that's one of the complications I like a lot. All right, so um, I use many different email apps. Um, you don't read email on your Apple Watch, do you? I sometimes do. That's I mean it's the same thing really... as Instagram. Like you can look at it and you're like, oh, okay, I got to yeah. deal with that later. Um, it's not like I. It's my part of my daily. <laughs> like if I, I mostly have this, then I'm going to use this. I try but, not to do mess text messaging or uh, email on my watch. Although being able to quickly respond, respond to a message, yeah. go, you know, like right. That, yeah. So Outlook lets you quickly respond. Um, the Outlook app and oh, also you don't use Apple's Mail's app. Apple's Mail app. No, that. I don't. I okay. use Outlook. Um, it's a good. No, that's a good app. That's the old. Um, was it a Compli? Yes, it is a good app, and it integrates your calendar in a way that um, I appreciate. Um, but this new feature that I really like is note to self. So like you're sitting there in line and you think, oh no, I need to um, tell uh, Leo that he's a great boss. So I say, tell Leo he's a great boss. And then done. And then that will send right to my email. So then if you use your email as a to-do list, wow. that will be right so there. So I'm going to get an email now? No, I am going to get an email that reminds me oh, to you'd tell put you. To do, yeah. You sent yourself an email. I sent myself an email saying, just by tapping. send Leo an email. Right, so it's sort of like draft. You know how you use drafts? Yeah, but you, well, I was going to show drafts next. But So you could also, though, send me an email directly, right? Yes, I could, yes. That I probably could. would have eliminated could, that middle step. Well, I was going to, it just says, tell Leo he's great. So, oh, I like, see. it says here, you can take a look so at it. So you're emailing so tell reminders. Leo's, yeah, That's it's nice. a reminder. So, yeah, That's if nice. I need to So Outlook does that, out. it's built in Outlook. Yeah, nice. so it's, but it's super easy. I really um, like that. Yeah, so I could just... Um, say you know because you don't you have that's like the g gtd the getting things done yes. get, it, get out it out of your out brain of, and that's why i use drafts. It onto, yeah, yeah so drafts is great uh for that draft has also a, and i keep uh drafts also on my uh complications that's this little one down here the idea of drafts is it's basically you dump text so when i hit the drafts thing i can either see my inbox but there's not much you can do within the watch mm -hmm. the idea is tell megan Thank you. And then now that's that's in my inbox. And what I can do, what's really great, is I can now immediately go to drafts on my phone or I'll go on my... I usually like to use drafts on my, um, on my um, iPad because it's a bigger interface. Mm -hmm. And I can look at what I've... Uh, there it is, right away. See how fast? Mm -hmm. And now it's just text, right? But I can process it. So I can actually... I, I, I should have a text Megan on here. Mm -hmm. But I can, I, since I don't, I'll do message. But uh, instead, I'll, I'll send it to Sarah. Okay. And <laughs> she'll go, what the heck? And then, boom, like that. Boom, it's done. Pew. I could add it to OmniFocus. I could make it an event. Did She's, you text Sarah tell Megan thank you? <laughs> yeah. She did. She does need to. <laughs> she should. 
And she's wondering, what the <laughs> hell? So you can have all of these actions on the right. I've shown drafts so many times. I know. I just, that's what, yeah, it's so great. I want to emphasize, though, that when the real thing that makes drafts so cool is that the watch integration. By the way, drafts uh, is now moving to the Mac as well. Mm -hmm. If you're part of the beta program as a drafts contributor, you can use it on the Mac. And so I can use it on my iPad, my iPhone, my Macintosh. So it, it having something on your watch... You, Kind of like that, mm -hmm. where you just dump stuff into your watch and then process it later. You get in the habit at the end of the day of going through all your drafts from the day. And mm -hmm. You could write a blog post that way. You could send emails, send text messages. There's, It's almost unlimited what you can do. I thought that it was available for everyone on the Mac, but maybe... It's um, still in beta, so you have to... I think you have to be a contributor, but maybe not. I might um, be wrong I on that. I think that it is uh, available now. I think they really... Oh, we good. were talking to... Nice. Um, oh, yeah, you've talked to Agile him. Tours is yeah. when, it, when it came out a couple yeah. weeks ago. So, oh, nice. Um, so good you don't news. have to be part of the beta. I love um, but, it that it's on the Mac. It yeah. should be. It should have been, and I'm glad he did that. Yeah. So, yeah, I, uh, Drafts is an aspirational app for me. Like, when I get organized, I'm going to do you that. You have to but remember now, to use it. Yeah. So, but then with Outlook, I already use my email as my to-do list, so that works for me. But what Drafts has that Outlook doesn't have is Drafts lets you also finger text. You know, you, you don't have to just use... I am not a finger texter. I am a fan of that um, because sometimes like, oh, I had something. I wanted to I wanted to remind myself to buy some personal item yeah. um, that I didn't want to say out loud with Karsten and Jason in the office. And so I wanted that's to- That's the problem with drafts. You have to yeah, say it out loud. Yeah. No, no, drafts you don't. You can finger text. Oh, that's text right. You can finger text. Without yeah, look, yeah. you have to say it out loud. But there is a right. way in drafts. So that's, I definitely prefer that. No, that's that, right. Yep. Um, yep. That, yeah. Is, I'm sure there's a word for that that's not- finger text <laughs> maybe that is the word i think you invented finger texting <laughs> um yeah so do you have any more or? i do I have one more okay um that i think i think it's on here oh maybe not did i not uh install it i probably didn't so i can't show it but what i use google keep for is shopping lists mm -hmm. okay and you can put google keep on your watch as well which apparently i have neglected to do See, that's the downside mm -hmm. of not installing everything right away. Yep. Uh, no, it does. It says show it. Oh, I know why. I was looking under K. It's under G. Oh, dummy. oh yeah. Dummy, I dummy, dummy. It. Yeah, because that's... I Google have it Keep. On. So you can, you can put your shopping uh, list on your watch. See, there it is. Petaluma Market. And this is cray-cray, but instead of carrying a piece of paper that you mm -hmm. check off as you go, look it. It's got little check boxes. Mm -hmm. And as I shop, I can literally just look at my shopping list. Okay, got the two pounds of hamburger meat, got the uh, dozen eggs, got the two big jugs of maple syrup. Can you guess now what I'm making? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Diabetes? I don't know. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of muesli and two pounds of butcher bacon. The shopping's done. So isn't that cool? And, uh, you know, it even shows the little image that goes along with it. So... I think this is just a really nice way to put your shopping list yeah, on I your have, watch. I had no idea. I have uh, Google Keep on my watch because I install everything and I had no idea. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's good to do stuff with intention instead of automatically. Yeah. Well, I like that. Uh, I like having my grocery list on my watch because whenever I'm checking my grocery list on the phone in the grocery store, I feel like people are judging me because I'm right. like standing in their way, look, like texting. Think, she must really be an important person because she's checking her watch every few minutes. Yeah, exactly. She's I like, can got, tell obviously you what got better places to be than the grocery <laughs> store. Uh, so we've got some news. I'm going to show uh, you what I think of the Power Beats Pro and we've got some other stuff. But first we should A talk about privacy. from our sponsor, the fine folks at ExpressVPN. Now, this is an app you should have on your iPad, you should have on your iPhone, you should have on your Mac and your Windows PC too. Because whenever you're somewhere where the Wi-Fi is open or the owners of the connection, which could be, by the way, your home internet service provider, your telephone cell provider, your work, whenever they might be snooping on you, you want to fire up ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN protects your privacy, protects your data. And if you're using an internet connection unencrypted, you might as well just write your stuff on the wall because that's, in fact, that's what they do. If you go to the big hacker convention, they have a wall called the wall of sheep <laughs> where they put people's passwords, bank account numbers, all the stuff that people foolishly, why would you go to a hacker convention yeah. 
and just use the Wi-Fi there. That would that's so that's why you need ExpressVPN. Mm -hmm. If you it would never show up on the wall of sheep. It is secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data, hiding your public IP address. They have servers all over the world, which is really important. This is why you pay for it. I, you know, there are free VPNs that are slow and not convenient. And by the way, if they're free, they're probably selling that information. ExpressVPN doesn't log, doesn't keep track of what you're doing, and it has servers all over the world. That has two valuable things. It means that you're fast because you can use the server nearest you and get real speed. Or you can emerge somewhere else in the world. And sometimes you want to do that. Uh, it's used by dissidents all over the world uh, to protect their communications from governments that snoop on them. In fact, it's the number one VPN service according to Tech Radar. 30 day money back guarantee. You're risking nothing. Less than $7 a month. Express VPN. No logging. Your privacy is protected. Your security is protected. And you can get an extra three months free right now with a one year package at Express vpn.com slash ios today it's so easy to use you put it on your device you press one button you're protected turn it off with one button too it's very easy to turn on and off as you need it and it's so fast you won't notice you're running on express vpn you might just leave it on all the time why not e-x-p-r-e-s-s vpn.com slash ios today get three extra months free with a one-year package visit expressvpn.com slash ios today we thank them so much for their support of iOS today, for providing me with the security and privacy I need. And we thank you for using that special URL, because that's how you support the show. ExpressVPN.com slash iOS today. Not tomorrow. Today. <laughs> today. Right now. Or i0s, i0.5, whatever we... Asterisk today <laughs> is on the air. Um, so you will probably talk about the WhatsApp flaw at MacBreak Weekly, um, but I thought this was big news this morning. This is a head slap. Yeah. People use WhatsApp because uh, Facebook said, look, it's secure. We, uh, we're using uh, open whisper systems, end-to-end -end encryption. People use it all over the world, partly because it's easier to use and in many countries cheaper to use than text messaging. It's a, it's a great app, um, but apparently it was hacked probably by an Israeli uh, um, anti-security firm kind of a well-known uh, firm hacker firm and uh they got in all the messages i mean that's bottom line uh the whatsapp folks once they learned of this fixed it immediately they mm -hmm. they stayed up late yeah they did to like 11 o'clock at night <laughs> to fix it and they got it fixed so it's safe now so uh update uh your yeah. whatsapp for sure the, uh, this NSO group, that uh, the Israeli hacking group, said that they had put spyware on there. Uh, and uh, Well, actually, no. They made the spyware, but they said, we only license it to governments. <laughs> so some government put this uh, spyware on WhatsApp. Wonder who. <laughs> so, yeah, Pretty update. much any government, right? Do you use WhatsApp? No. I, I don't use anything from Facebook. Yeah. I don't like Facebook, and that's why I don't use Instagram either. I don't like Facebook. The only reason I ha I do have Instagram uh, account that's a private account I don't post to, and it's for one reason only. My wife insists on using Instagram. She said, you won't see any of our Hawaii pictures, so create a dummy account that mm -hmm. and just follow me, which is what I did, because it's the only way I can see your Instagram pictures. It makes me angry every time I think about it. I don't want to support the crooks at Facebook. Yeah, so, so I have, there's one person that insists, insists? on connecting uh, the problem. through WhatsApp. So I just updated it and the, it's so funny because it's like the version history says you can now see stickers in full size. When Thank you God. Press. Like that, that's time. the reason for the update? No. So um, other big news, especially for consumers um, and those who like lawsuits, yesterday the Supreme Court ruled against Apple uh, in a case allowing you to sue uh, the company for unfair monopoly. It all goes practices. back to 1977 and Illinois brick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to tell the whole story? Yes. No, probably you no. don't. The thing to understand is that Apple didn't really lose an antitrust case here. The question was, do individuals, people like you and me, have the right to, they, the technical term is standing, to sue Apple over the App Store being a monopoly? And there was some question because in Illinois brick, 
uh, a, dis a court decided that it, the state of Illinois w could not sue Illinois Brick for overcharging because they weren't the direct customer. So the courts have held you have to be the direct customer to have standing in order to sue. Mm -hmm. And Apple says, well... Uh, the developers are the direct the, customers. Yeah, uh, I don't know what Apple says. They but said they the said developers no. should be able to sue, but people shouldn't be able to sue. That their customers are the developers. And by the way, we don't price fix. So there, and uh, and so Apple. So this was gonna. This is not. This is not the end. Is in the words of Winston Churchill, this is not the end, nor is this the beginning of the end. This is a big fat nothing. Well, it's such <laughs> a weird thing to part. say, like that they are saying, like. <laughs> Developers should be able to sue, not people. And it's like, yes, the people that want that the only place they can sell the good that they have created is your store, they're going to sue you. You know, it's like they're they're beholden to you. No, this is a good decision. In fact, it's a landmark decision. And the uh, decision was uh, written by Brett Kavanaugh, the newest Supreme Court mm -hmm. justice, who sided with the four liberal judges. Mm -hmm. So it was, it's very Five confusing, four. the Supreme mm -hmm. Court watchers. But some people say this is a signal from the Supreme Court that they might be open to other antitrust mm -hmm. actions. I think that may be going a bit far. Main thing to point out is Apple lost, but it didn't doesn't mean they lost a lawsuit over whether the App Store is a monopoly. They merely lost and they they were, you know, the first line of defense which is well you can't even sue us, so now you can. And there are going to be class action lawsuits coming out of this, of course. It is a really tricky thing. I mean, that uh, I know what they provide us as a consumer, like that we have a little more trust in the apps that go through the store and, you know, people can't uh, maliciously add viruses to them, et cetera, et cetera, but still 30%. And they take they take 30% from everything. If, if I wanted to tip a developer, they would take 30% yeah. of that. And of course, uh, this is something Spotify doesn't like, Netflix doesn't like because... They say it's rent seeking because uh, just because you're using the Spotify app on Apple Music or in, uh, the Apple iPod or iPhone or uh, iPad, I mean, on, or iPhone, doesn't mean that you sh that you Apple should get thirty percent of the subscription fee. And actually, after a year, it's only fifteen percent. But why should Apple get anything? Um, they're not doing anything. They're not the music's not being provided or anything. So I think this is going to open a can of worms. What will happen, however? is that long before these suits uh, come to fruition, Apple will slightly change things in the App Store. Um, for instance, uh, give some of these companies the right to have subscriptions that they don't take a cut of, or maybe, you know, there'll be something that Apple will do to eliminate this whole thing, I think. But it's mm -hmm. just, you know, now, now, now they have to do it. Okay, so uh, on to something more exciting. The PowerBeats Pro arrived. Um, these are Apple's new that's a, earbuds. So compare that to the AirPod yeah, case. That's a here. big case. Um, it is quite you, you've big. You've got your uh, AirPods got, in some sort of B&D harness. But, <laughs> yes, I do. Um, uh, so yeah, here, let's compare the two. That's a lot bigger. Is um, it a lot more battery life as a result? It's twice the battery okay, life. Okay. Um, and so... At least you're not going to lose those or confuse it with the case of dental floss. Exactly. I never carry my AirPods around in my pocket anyway, so that issue doesn't matter. Also, the AirPods fall out of my ears if I ever try to go anywhere. So These really, will not fall out of no, your ears. No, they do not. So um, here they are. They're and, 100 bucks more, we should point yeah, out. Yeah, 200 That's the best. The bad news is they're $250, so yeah. everything else is good news. I was, oh, okay, here it is. Um, so there's the nice little pairing um, information. It'll tell me that they're at 100% oh. and they're See, that's cases. because it's, uh, we should point out Apple makes Beats, mm -hmm. and they put this H1 chip in it, so mm -hmm. it can do this really nice pairing thing with iOS devices. Yeah, so, and then what happens if I open my AirPods? With Same thing. Wins? You're just going to get a I'm bigger just, a bigger window. Yeah. Or maybe not. It won't. Uh, maybe it will. You can only, you can only. Do one there can be only one. I think, oh, there we go. Oh, holy cow. Now I'm confused. So uh, they're not, I don't think they're actually paired to to my iPad at all. I think they're paired to something else, but that that is. Well, as soon as you pair any, the AirPods to anything. Right, then it. Everything on that account, that iCloud account will also be paired automatically. Right. That's why your watch knows about your AirPods. My watch does know about my yeah. AirPods. And so, it should know about your Beats now. It Your does, yeah. yeah. So the, this is the exciting thing. So these um, just, you know, you know what an AirPod looks like. They fall out of your ears. These go over your ears, which is very nice. Um, and then see this little button here. That's the press. You press that to stop or play. 
And then they each have mirrored、uh, volume controls, which I really like. So you can、oh. turn the volume up and down. Because I never remember which ear. And there is no physical control on the AirPods. You have yeah, to tap them. Or no.、Fiddle. And that always was, could, would confuse me.、Yep. So, and then this is also the Siri button. So if you press、um, long enough, it will. Can,、uh, you, can you do it with voice only? Can you say, you know, hey? No. No. Okay. Because、um, that's the new feature in the AirPods. Right. right? Exactly. Um, so, one, the, so, they were super comfortable. I wore them all day yesterday. And I. Here's the funny I think it was the Verge article. I don't know if it was Vlad or who, who was doing the review. He said, You wouldn't want to wear them in public. What? Well, my.、Uh, my let me see. My, well, they, they, well, first of all, you have long hair. hair、so、here, nobody, here, let me put one on so you can yeah, see what it looks like on a person with no hair. <laughs>、um, I like the ear hook because then it's not going to fall out, right? That's not embarrassing. No. You're wearing headphones. No. It's not embarrassing for a lady either. I think I actually. The They're、AirPods, better than the AirPods. The AirPods are embarrassing. Yeah. They,、um, so I. It's like you got a、oh. Q tip hanging out of your、yeah. ear. Yeah. I'm actually listening to a podcast now. That's the thing. I, I think I'll just wear them all the time and you'll never know. No one know. will know. You'll never know.、Um, I'm going to、so. grow my hair long. That's what I'm going to do. My problem is if I grow my hair long, yours is nice. It's straight, it goes, it hangs over yours. It, <laughs> I look like Bob Ross. Yeah. And you still see my ears. Yeah, no. Because it just goes is, out straight、yeah. out. I get it, it's like a fro. No, so I'm,、uh, I wear, I've worn these running. They're great. They pair. So I, I usually run on a treadmill with my Apple TV、and、watching the shows. You're jiggling your head. Well, right. And so, like, otherwise、yeah. I would have to turn the volume up really loud and my kids would come in and be like, shh. So now they can connect there. Well, this would be good for my Peloton as well. It's nice to have wireless when you're working out. Yeah. I mean, $250 is a lot. I'm not saying it's、yeah. not for headphones, but they're great. Do they have white ones? They,、uh, right now you can get any color as long as the color you want is black. But、so, why the, is this ad? In the spring. In the,、oh. in the fall? In the fall. Someday. We'll, someday、so、we'll、spring. have white in the, power beats. Maybe the summer, or that you will get white. They, they don't, so, Beats is known for all of their fancy colors, but you、yeah. can't get all those fancy colors just white, olive, gray. You know what else Beats is known for? What? The way the music sounds on them.、Yeah. How did that they sound? They sound great. I,、uh, I think they sound they fantastic. Because people complain、ones. sometimes Beats are bass heavy. They have a notch at,、uh, the, at kind of the 100 hertz, and they also have another notch a little higher up. People complain about that because it, you know, the whole idea of Beats was it was, was going to be good for hip hop music or something like that.、Um, but you don't notice that. Well, I don't. I mean, I'm not a music nerd. But do you listen to music on them? Yeah. And that sounds fine? It sounds great and better than the AirPods. And voice, voices don't all sound like this. No, they、okay. don't. No, and everybody actually, doesn't sound like Barry White. I haven't used them for phone hey, calls,、baby. so I can't. This is only you know, my first look. When a headphone <laughs> meets another headphone. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, one other, my other complaint, and this might just be me, is I find them a little difficult to put back. Like the AirPods are obvious. You just stick okay, them in the hole. But these are like, what, what, what am I doing here? People in the business、here? call a minor complaint. Yeah. I, I'm not、it's, exactly. It's, it isn't, you know, I have to say the AirPods, there's no question. Yeah. Unless you flip them around and then you know. Right. Because there's a little magnet that goes, schmuck. It has a very satisfying. Hold it a little higher so we can、oh, actually sorry, see what you're your fiddling、hand. with. So I believe they go like that and then like that. Yes. Okay. But, so eventually you're going to remember yeah, that. Yeah. I hope.、Um, and eventually you're going to take that tag out of the yeah, top. Yeah. It says to pair,、uh, keep air, air,、uh, earphones in case, which is funny because I like, tried to take them out, of course. And then I was like, yeah, no, they, that's yep, why they put that sticker that there. That sign was for me. They also have a sticker that says, do not eat. Yeah. No. Do, definitely do not eat them. Um, I think Not to be, be taken to internally.、Swallow. These would be harder to swallow than the AirPods. I know、um, <laughs> there was, that was an issue for people. <laughs> people were swallowing. Oh, there was. was there was that、yeah. guy who ate his AirPod. Yeah, and then it still worked when it came out. Don't want to know、They're、how he knew. Sweat resistant.、They're、But not waterproof. Not waterproof. Looks like you can choose other colors now. Or no? No, you cannot add those to your bag yet. Oh. It's the old add to the bag button trick. So, I do think that.、Um, <laughs> I hate it when the App Store does that. That is just so annoying. Yeah. Like, it's, oh, it's too much trouble later to update the page to put the white ones in when we actually have them. No, we want to do it all now and confuse the hell out of people. Right, exactly.、Um, so, you mentioned my,、um, my AirPod holder.、Uh, <laughs> so, this is from、That's、Amal. Very, I don't want to say manly,、um, it's, it's、uh, leather. Well, And it's, it looks like、um, a bit of horse 
gear, like a bridle. It's good that you say manly because I'm all sent one to you. Oh, so. <laughs> this is from a mall or yeah, our night visitor. Craft. Yes. Yeah. So he it comes clips, in and brings us leather in the yeah, middle of the night. It clips. <laughs> You always lose yours. It can clip onto your keychain. Oh, it can I do clip onto your that. pants. It can clip Holy onto your cow. pants on the back. Or you if you have if you like have a pet gerbil or a rodent of some kind, mm-hmm. it makes a little nice little rodent holder. Yeah. You just put pop yes. them in there and they it's like a little baby bjorn for your mouse. <laughs> it is it can hold your AirPods or a mouse. it's a baby bjorn for your mouse. Yeah. Um they're about twenty dollars, he says. He hasn't I am. Thank you, Jamal. Amal. I, I'm using what's his name? Amal. Amal. <laughs> Thank you, Amal. I'm using the Amal's keychain. Oh. Look at that. That's also manly. Yeah, and it's nice. And it has a big... He makes a lot of stuff, and it's you know just him. Could, you know what I could do? I know. It's so cool. He's like, I could clip that to that. Oh, yeah. And then I could put that on, on my belt, and uh-huh. my pants would fall down. It's awesome. It's a really nice keychain, too. It is the I mean, best. The, the other keychain that he gave you. I love my keychain. Yeah. So, so techleathercraft.com. Oh, see, that? see, I got to be careful about showing this barcode on the air. <laughs> Because now somebody can impersonate me at the gym. They could, yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to take a screenshot. You really can. You can just screenshot that and go to the gym. Do it. <laughs> I got a piece of paper here that says I'm Leo Laporte. They have a photo, too. Oh, they do? Yeah, they do. Oh. You never go to the gym, do you? I'm going to go right after this show. <laughs> but I hardly ever go to the gym. That is accurate. No, it's great. I'm going there tonight. Pilates, Pilates class. Um, Nothing more attractive than an older man in shorts with mm-hmm. his feet in straps and attached to springs. Mm-hmm. It's a good um, look. <laughs> okay, so I have one tip before we move on. Um, here's uh, my Mother's Day card that I got. Somebody's noticing that I don't read my news. <laughs> he said, look at the notification badge on his news folder. Yeah. 59,457 yeah, unread that's news stories. You gotta turn off those badges. I hate badges. Um, badges? We don't need those stinking badges. Did you? Okay, so I want to show you a little tip that I learned yes. about the. Uh, this was Mother's the, Day. Sh- well, yeah, that's that was my Mother's Day card. Yeah. But so if great. I want to share it, you know, you the share sheet there. And did you know? You probably knew this. You can move these around. Like if you often share, you find yourself uh, using wanting mostly to create wallpaper you just tap it and move it does there's no jiggling involved or anything you can just move with your finger these things did you know that you could do that leo um <laughs> I, yeah don't you didn't no i didn't know that okay i know you could move them uh in settings but i didn't know you could just tap and move them did everybody oh, those? Know? Yeah, oh, these. Oh, I get it. You could just, you just tap. Oh, no, want. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Okay, now I feel better. No, I didn't know that. Oh, wow, that's neat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want to, I can't say wait to go home and do that all day. <laughs> well, I find that there no, are not. No, I want, there's some that you use a lot. You want to have them closer to right. the left. Mm-hmm. Look at that. So. I got my AirPods okay. in bondage. Okay. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> All I need is a ball gag, and I'm ready to party. Okay. Holy cow, that's awesome. It's nice. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, because I worry about them. I worry about losing no, them. No, they're safe now. And then you can hook them on the side of your they're pants. They're not going anywhere. Did you see the other cl- You can hook yeah. that in your pocket? Yeah. Put well, that's how you're going to lose them. Yeah. Just no, hook it right on the edge of your pocket. There we go. That's a good look. <laughs> yeah. I think this is, I'm going to start a trend. It really it's very nice. Is that a pocket square? No, it's my AirPods in bondage. <laughs> How do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I just need one of these, one big enough. What does it mean if you put it on the left side? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a hot cross AirPod, somebody's saying in the chat. <laughs> All right, we should uh, take this opportunity to thank Atlassian. Oh, I love Atlassian. I do. We are in the, the words of the poet, an Atlassian house. We are. That means we use Atlassian. Our IT team uses Atlassian. Uh, and you know what? That's great. I would make them use it, except that uh, I don't have to. They and they, So here's why we love it. Um, they use Jira, which is, of course, Atlassian. It's probably their, you know, their most famous. It was one of their first products. Mm-hmm. Jira is the product that lets you keep track of your projects, who's doing what, what stage the project's at. It's Teams love Jira. And as the boss, I love it because I can look at that and I know exactly where we stand. The, the, the Look at that board. It's so easy. 
It's so simple to keep track of everything. But the nice thing is once they start using JIRA, then they start using Confluence to document workflow and changes. If you've got a code base, you might also be using Bitbucket. Atlassian forms the backbone of effective cross-team project planning, organization, and communication. It's what you want as the boss. It's what your customers want, your colleagues want. But it's also what your IT wants to use because it makes their life better. And really, honestly, is it IT team day today? It should be. Every day is. In modern businesses where we're all in the cloud, the IT teams are at the center of the universe um, they plan, they execute, they have to do a better job than ever before because well, apps are more compl complex, incidents are more complicated, they require open, agile, and smart coordination. Notice the word collaboration and coordination shows up a lot when you're talking about Atlassian. That's when, the, when expectations are high and stakes are, are at, at the top premium, it's the IT departments that's the center and they have to have the tools to get the job done because falling short Inside business critical workflows, that is just not an option. And that's why we use Atlassian. It's why your IT team might want to use Atlassian. It's, I think people think it's just for developers. It's not. It's for teams of all kinds and all sizes, from DevOps to Agile to IT apps to Ops to ITSM to whatever's next for your IT department. Atlassian provides the technology backbone to help modern IT organizations plan, service, and support exactly the kind of change that propels the business forward. That's why we love it. And it's not just those three, by the way. It's Ops Genie and Status Page. If you've got to keep an eye on incidents, coordinate response efforts, resolve issues faster, keep customers or stakeholders updated. Again, that communication is so important. It all integrates together so you never have to leave the platform. Like all of Atlassian's products, the tools for your IT team, and there are many of them, they're all easy and free to try. So go to Atlassian.com slash IT and find out which Atlassian offerings are right for your team. The best IT teams use Atlassian. Try Atlassian today to see what IT can be. Atlassian.com slash IT. We thank them for their support of iOS today. Thank you for supporting us by using that URL, and you're doing yourself a favor. Check it out. Atlassian.com dot com slash i t we got a question from jim hello jim jim says we have iphone 6s pluses and two first generation ipad pro 12.9s what bluetooth wireless inexpensive earbuds can you recommend for seniors oh i, I want to set for when i walk the track at our y instead of the plug-in earphones i currently use well hand carrying a phone Yes. Um, so as I mentioned in our pre-show last week, my dad just got some from Amazon that cost like $15. He used a couple coupons. He was very excited about it. Uh, they're like the Sia car. It's Kriya car, C-R-I-A-C-R. -A -A um, and then, then they're now currently unavailable. So I wonder, like they, when we talked about it, it's like there are Chinese companies that do a lot of this. Maybe they just had some extra. So they just like put out all these coupons and sold them and then they're gone. Um, but Jim said in the meantime, I didn't answer his question right away. Um, he bought um, some from Pasanomi, which I have on my, um, uh, on my, uh, for this is from Amazon. They're $50. He likes them. Um, they're Bluetooth earbuds, wireless headphones, Bluetooth headset, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they have the ch charging case. So, I mean, you don't have to spend $250 on. I'm amazed because, uh, you know, I mean, these. I've been recommending these $150 Jabra Elites. Mm -hmm. uh, I think these are, they sound good. Uh, they're very compact, but they really look exactly the same as those. So I'm wondering if they're just some company in China is cranking these things out. I feel like they are. And yeah. I don't like. That's, these are the Jabra Elites. If you I mean, spend $50 on these and they only last, you know, six months, and then you have to spend another $50 and then another $50. These are going to last a long time because I can't open them. Oh, they're there. <laughs> These, I mean, and they're very similar. They don't do the pairing thing when you take them out of the thing. Uh -huh. Now, these are the ones I use uh, on my Peloton. These are from Plantronics. They're a little less expensive. They're 80 bucks. And I have seen others of the same ilk. And I kind of like, and I'm wondering maybe if the problem with these is these earbuds are wireless, but they're also easy to lose because of that. I like the idea of these because they have a, basically, it's just, just a thing that goes around your neck. So even if these fall out, they're not going to fall on the ground. They're mm. going to stay on your shoulders or uh, whatever. 
So that's another style to look at that I think, I don't know, I kind of, as a fellow senior, mm -hmm. I, kind of, uh, I kind of prefer. And you can shop around for this style as well. And I, I think that jobbers are very good, but I think there are other uh, others as well. This is, these are the uh, Plantronics Backbeat Go 410s. Yeah, I, I, love I like them a lot. I've had a pair of Plantronics for like three or four years that I'm really happy with. And these are good for phone uh, system as well. And then, you know, I should mention our our sponsor, Aftershocks, because mm -hmm. again, uh, they're not they're wireless, but they're not uh, floating out of your ear. Mm -hmm. The Aftershocks, um, I think, provide great sound, and they don't they're not in your ear; they're on top of your cheekbone. Mm -hmm. So I also think these are the most comfortable from my point of view. You kind of forget you're wearing them. So uh, and but these are also expensive. So if you want to, you know, if you want to get under fifty bucks, I think you might be ending up going to those Chinese knockoffs. And I don't, I don't know if they're yeah. bad or not. You're not going to get support, right? My dad likes his. So far, Jim likes his. I don't know. It's just, um, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say whether. Here's here's you know, perfect example. This is these are exactly the same mm -hmm. as far as the look goes. As, as those Plantronics, but they're $25. Um, so, you know, I, I just, I just don't know. I, and again, it's some brand 48H I've never, I've never heard of. Uh, I guess at that price, you don't really care, right? Well, I mean, you, we ought to care in terms of the, you know, environmental waste that we're creating. Well, and that's one of, these are probably a little bit better in, in that regard. The bat and I don't know. And the microphone is, is in a better position. But you can look at these. These are all knockoff companies, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the first thing you realize is that the markup on headphones is ridiculous, <laughs> right? They really mark them up like crazy. Yeah, that's true. Ten dollars. These are ten dollars. They look just like the uh, in-ear uh, iPod, AirPod headphones. Um, what do they call them? Just the in-ear headphones that come with your iPhone, but they're yeah, earbuds. Earbuds, mm -hmm. but they're uh, called Splenor. What a terrible name, Spl or Spleen or I don't know. <laughs> well, Blute. that was the thing. This my dad's were like cryocur or something. I, they're not they're, spending the money on branding. It's that's all for sure. Chinese companies. They they're all from the same factory, and the thing is, this is ten dollars. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I, you know, so maybe we're nuts for spending 140 to 250 bucks on, you know, these fancy schmancy things. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why I like the Aftershocks because they fit over the ear too. So I, I really like for comfort, anything you put in your ear is not going to be as comfortable as the Aftershocks. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, I just love not having something in my ear. Christian sent us this video that I have here on my, um, I, and will play. Hi, Megan and Leo. Christian here from Switzerland. Congrats to an amazing show. Thank you. I liked your episode about the News Plus alternatives. I myself are a big fan of RSS Reader. Yes. In your episode, I missed one of my favorite readers. The app is developed by the Swiss programmer Silvio Brizzi and goes by the name Reader. That's R-E-E-D-E-R. -E -E I love it. You can get it yep. for iOS and Mac OS and it supports different services like Feedly, FeedHQ and many more. Of course, you can add feeds manually also. The app is 10 bucks in the, for Mac and around 4 bucks in iOS. It's not a subscription, so you own it for good. I'm not affiliated with the programmer, but it's flow from all about Android always points out support your devs. Yes. It would be nice if you could review the app and on the show because I think it deserves more attention. Thanks again. Take care and bye from Switzerland. And by the way, I love his t-shirt. It says think different <laughs> and it's got a pear with a bite yes. out of it, which is awesome. And thank you for saying that, Christian. Christian is not a native English speaker, but he said he was going to send a video anyway. Thank you, Christian. And it was amazing. Well, um, as usual, people from other countries often speak English better than we do. <laughs> and he added all of those. You don't, you don't, if you're going to send a video, you don't have to add all the captions as Christian did. Um, oh, but thank you. You can. So Reader, R-E-E-D-E-R, -E 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 is a perennial pick. We've picked it a number of times on Mac Break Weekly. I think we probably also picked it on here. Absolutely. In fact, it's it's a kind of encouraging that there are so many good RSS readers out there. The RSS is not, is far from dead. I use Reader on the Mac, and I love it. I think it's a very very good choice. And Silvio is one of the great uh, 
Mac programmers, so he deserves a little bit of uh, credit as well. Uh, Reader 4 is the latest uh, version of Reader. And uh, Silvio Rizzi, very, very nice program. Highly recommend it. And we also have an audio question. You can also send us audio questions, and you'll people who are watching will just have to watch us listen to you. <laughs> so, uh, and I think what is that wonderful pocket square Leo is wearing? Yes, I think Kevin has that. You could stare at that while you listen. Hello, Leo and Megan. This is Tom here from New Hampshire. Hi, Tom. Trying to decide whether or not to trade my Fitbit in for an Apple Watch. All I want to use it for is fitness. I can't seem to get the information from the Fitbit into Apple Health. Ah. I've tried a few different things. I've tried syncing it with a couple different apps, and it won't go in. I don't always have my phone with me. Um, which, do you know of any way to get the information from the from a Fitbit into Apple Health? Or would it be just easier to get the Apple Watch? Um, just want your input. Thanks. First of all, Fitbit should work just fine with Apple Health. I'm surprised it doesn't, it, but there are many other choices. We talked about Google Fit last week, yeah. which is now available for iPhone. will absolutely work uh, with a Fitbit. But I Apple Health doesn't work with... It doesn't? No, no. You have to use a third-party syncing tool. Oh, that's real. I didn't know. I did not know yes. that. That's very disappointing. It is. Um, I don't know if it's on Fitbit's side. I'm guessing it's on Apple's side. I'm guessing... <laughs> Uh, allow you, but um, I did look this up, and iMore has a recommendation uh, for a syncing tool. But you have to pay extra. But it's only five dollars as opposed to three hundred dollars for a new Apple. I app. always just use the Fitbit app, which I think is fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, if Fitbits are a lot less expensive than an Apple Watch. If the only thing you're using it for is fitness, I think it's smaller, less expensive, more convenient. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here's the Fitbit Inspire that just came out. I see a lot of people wearing this now, by the way. This seems to be the most popular after the Apple Watch out there. And it's under 100 bucks. So uh, I just, I feel like um, you shouldn't let the fact that Apple, I'm not crazy about their Apple Watch clone. That's kind of kind of <laughs> silly. A lot of people use the Charge. Actually, the Charge is the one I see people wearing around. Uh, all, the, all the hardcore athletes that I know uh, wear the Charge. And that's uh, 150 bucks. You know, the Apple Watch is only 250 now, right? So, yeah, I mean, an older one is only 250. Oh, okay. I think the new one, I think, was on sale right now for 300 dollars. But um, so, what I more recommends is an app called Sync Solver. Um, okay. So it's five dollars on the App Store, okay. and it uh, solves the various um, syncing issues. It's uh, highly rated and recommended by Fitbit users. Um, so, yeah, you can get that, um, which is cheaper than an Apple Watch and better for the environment. Um, so, yeah, it's, I, I like I think the it's Fitbits. Very I've weird. used them for years. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, very weird that you can't. Well, Apple wants e ecosystem lock-in, and uh, <laughs> it is odd. It is very odd that they don't. Well, because, I mean, the Google Fit apps, no, like it goes, uh, like you can go to other apps, but they don't let, other apps go yeah. in, but they do. They because do. Let, my like, Fitness Pal would probably work with a Fitbit, yeah. right? I mean, the other apps will work. It's just the Apple Health doesn't. They let like things that they don't provide, like you can use a oh, yeah. sleep tracker, and that goes. I use a lot Apple of stuff. Health, my but, my scale works with Apple. A lot of the yeah. things I use work with Apple Health. Yeah, uh, it's odd. But, I don't know. Yeah, a direct competitor. Yeah. I mean, they won't let us put an app in the store that says iOS in it. So this is, I guess, it's not that surprising. <laughs> So, I'm going to say nothing. Um, we have one more question. Um, Shrey writes, for your next episode, can you please make it on emailing apps? Like, what is your favorite emailing app? So we've already talked a little bit about this. That The problem with doing an entire episode on emailing apps is they're not that uh, different from one another. And so, I mean... It would be a lot of the... <laughs> and then you swipe left to archive and you right. swipe right to... Flag and, and this one gives you five options to archive, <laughs> and this one gives you three options to archive. So I said I use Outlook, which I do, but I also use Airmail, and I also use Edison. I use a, honestly, I just use the default Apple Mail yeah. app, and it and it works quite nicely. Uh, I think on iOS, so. yeah, uh, that's what I use. So, so I'm not very interesting in that regard. Yeah, on my desktop, I mean, honestly, you and I probably are Power Mail users, and. I don't really, iOS is not my first choice for mail. I'd much rather use much more powerful programs on a desktop mm -hmm. computer than try to do it on a phone. Yeah. Uh, and if you, uh, honestly, if you're not a power user, then Apple Mail 
on the uh, iPhone and the iPad is pretty darn good. It does everything I'd want it to. Yeah. I mean, I, and there's also just like you're used to something. Like I've been using Airmail for a while and right. I really like it. So a lot of these uh, third party email programs cost a lot of money. Some of them even want yearly Subscription, subscriptions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Apple Mail's there and it's free. And I don't know what it doesn't do that these other programs do. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I use at Apple Mail. On the other hand, when it comes to the Macintosh, I use MailMate. When it comes to Windows, I use EMC, an email client that's very powerful. Uh, and I on Linux, I use Claws Mail, which is also available, I think, on Windows. And uh, and these are much. One of the things Claws Mail does is it has pre-built templates. So when I reply, it automatically populates a reply for me. There's just things like that that uh, absolutely could be done better. But, but as a power mail user, I'm going to use the desktop and, and, and use those tools because I don't think there's anything on iOS that will do all the things I want to do. Uh, well, let's talk about Aftershocks again. Now that we recommend oh. them, let's recommend them again. Good timing to, be, uh, <laughs> to buy an ad on this show. This really is our favorite. In fact, it's for me for when I'm doing uh, uh, conference calls. I will put these on, and sometimes I have days where I have a bunch of conference calls in a row. I'll put my Aftershocks on and just leave them on. They're, they're that comfortable, little thin titanium band, very lightweight. That keeps them in place. And then notice they don't go in the ear. They go kind of over the ear on your cheekbone. The microphone is great, picks up sound. The audio quality, and this, I guess, is the thing I should probably reassure you. Even though they're not in your ear, they're using a patented bone conductance technology to send the sound through your cheekbones and your temple even though they're not in your ear, they sound great. The level is good. You can hear very clearly. And the most important part from my point of view is you can also, it's great for working out because if you're running, you can hear cars, people behind you. You can have conversations. That's why I'll often wear them around the house because it's not like I'm, you know, wearing ear pods or headphones. I can hear everybody. I can have conversations. And then if the phone rings, I can pick up crystal clear phone calls. The music quality is superb. They have something built in called premium pitch, which guarantees a premium audio experience with wide dynamic range and rich bass. You've never heard better Bluetooth sound. Wireless Bluetooth 4.1 connectivity. They do something I really appreciate, multi-point pairing. So I have it paired with everything. It's IP55 certified. That, that means it repels sweat, dust, and moisture from workouts or rain. If, you, if you're one of those runners who runs rain or shine, you're going to want this. Six hours of music and calls on a single charge. Ten-day standby time. They charge fast in one and a half hours. I just leave them plugged in on my desk at home. And when I get home, I pick them up, put them on, and I've got them. Hassle-free two-year warranty. Aftershocks are absolutely my pick for any time you want to wear headphones. When I'm on the bicycle, you do not want to wear headphones that... Uh, keep you from hearing traffic or sirens or people or horns or bells or anything. You, this is the best way to exercise. When I'm on my bike, I'm always wearing the aftershocks. Perfect for outdoor running or biking. Perfect for around the house. Perfect for conference calls. It's the most comfortable headphones you've ever worn. And right now we've got a special deal on what they're calling the aftershocks tech bundle. You get the Trex Air, which I'm wearing right now. A pop socket for your phone, a large portable storage case. You also get a portable power bank and an Aftershocks travel tumbler with an insulator. And all of that, $50 off when you use the code IOS today, right now at iostoday.aftershocks.com. Aftershocks spelled with a Z or a Z. Now, that offer, I'm sorry to say, is valid in the U.S. only. But you, the Aftershocks are available worldwide, and you should absolutely get them. iostoday.aftershocks.com. Offer code is iOS today. $50 off that tech bundle. Uh, it's just a no-brainer. I know, and I, I almost have to convince people because when I heard it, I said, oh, how could it not work if it doesn't go in your, it can't sound good. And I got them, and I love them. They're great for audiobooks. I, I wear them all day around the house. And, you know, I don't think I look dorky to wear them. No. I think it's I look better, fine. Much better than AirPods. Yeah, I mean, they're, I, handsome. They, they're a variety of colors. I'm wearing them. What's interesting is I'm wearing them, and I still have my in-ear monitors mm -hmm. for the show on. So you could, I guess you could use them both. They come with uh, uh, earplugs, you, so you can actually plug your ear, and actually the bass is even better if your ears are plugged up. So they, it's, I don't know how it's doing it. Well, I do know it's it's called magic. Mm -hmm. But it really works. i got the switches on the side. Love these things. Look how light they are, too. They're just great. Aftershocks iostoday.aftershocks.com. Don't forget the $50 uh, 
uh, deal on the tech bundle off fifty dollars off when you use the code iOS today. Thank you, Aftershocks. Great product. So Patrick Delahanty, um, I've heard of him. Yes, he uh, he's he, our programmer. He is, and he's been hard at work on an Apple TV app. And here it is. This is for our newest show, Hands On Tech or Hot. Yeah, so um, you can download this for free on, in the uh, Apple TV App Store. And what it does is just has all of our reviews right there. So let's see, um, what review should we watch? The Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy Watch. Where was your, where's your review of, oh, are these first looks? No, these are Those reviews. reviews. Go to first looks. Okay, first looks. That's other. There's the, the, the Pixel. The oh, brand yeah. new 3A just came out. Yeah. We're trying to get you stuff out as quickly as we can. So then you can this play. This was the, the one I did with Sam, Apple mm -hmm. Sam had uh, a review of the Jaguar. I-Pace was actually a first look. but uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is nice. It makes it very easy for you to find all our reviews. Definitely add it to your Apple TV app. Mm -hmm. uh, it's free, of course. And we hope to do more. Our next one was going to be iOS today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> oh, that's a new one. Father Robert came to town just for that. Yeah. He's a big traveler. And so he's got all the travel tech together in, in a bundle. Yep. And you could watch that. Um, nice. And yeah. There he is. So nice to see him again. It was yeah. nice to see him. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, check out Hands on Tech if you have an Apple TV. Hot. It's hot. Hot. And we'll be working on uh, other there, there apps, There are too. no Apple trademarks in the name. No. <laughs> no, proud no to there, say. there are not. We've managed to... What are they going to say about Mac Break Weekly? They probably aren't going to like that either. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. So look for more coming soon um, if we make our way through the Apple App Store. <laughs> uh, I don't they, think they're going to complain about Windows Weekly. I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, yeah. So it's free and... Um, we would love it if you downloaded it if you want to watch more hot on your Apple TV. This goes so <gasps> oh, well. Wait, I forgot that was my app cap. I forgot. This goes to wear my hat. <laughs> so that was your app cap? That was my app cap. And well, I forgot to wear I think my we hat. Have to start over now. <laughs> this goes so well with uh with my uh bondage earbuds. It does. Holder. All right. My app <laughs> is not really just an app. In fact, it doesn't even work just standalone as an app. You have to have a bit of a hardware oh, yeah. and not an inexpensive bit of hardware. Uh, as you know, I've been a fan of the Rico. Where, where do you want me to put that? A fan of the Rico uh, 360 degree cameras, the Thetas. I've had several of them, uh, but this is the newest and this is their pro model. The Rico Z1, the Rico Theta Z1. This is a camera that will do stills and video in 360 degrees and the way they've done it, always done it with the Theta, is to have two lenses with a fisheye on either side, and then the software that stitches that into a 360-degree image. And does, by the way, a very good job. This is a very high-resolution 4K image, 4K uh, video as well, 60 frames a second. It does a very nice job of picking up the detail. So this is the camera... And by the way, it always edits itself out. The camera was on this tripod. It's nice because it has a... Uh, Quarter sixty, 20. sorry, Carter, quarter twenty, quarter twenty. Sorry, um, threaded uh, screws just for tripods. It also has a Type C charger. You can connect it to your computer via Type C as well. It comes with its own built-in memory, quite a bit of memory. So uh, I'm doing. Uh, you can take images in JPEG or DNG, a raw file format. I'm shooting that way. I have 45 minutes of video that I can shoot. And if I decide to uh, press the button and switch to the camera mode, 2,392 images. Uh, if I turn on, if I go to the menu and turn on the uh, JPEG feature, uh, the DNG feature, it'll, it'll be quartered. I mean, those are very big images. But what's nice about these images is the resolution is fantastic. So much so that, for instance, I can zoom in on our chat room and read it. Uh, which you, you pretty much couldn't do on any previous uh, version. Now, this is $1,000. So you're paying a lot of money for the capabilities of this camera. But the but the resolution is so good uh, that it's just, I think it's worth the, uh, the extra money. Let me see if I can get it to work now. 
I can join the camera already in progress. Come on, camera. I know you can. There we go. So now there I am. There you are, right? I can shoot a picture just by pressing this button. It, by the way, makes the funniest little yeah, sound. Cute little... You can change that if you don't want to. And then it's made us, oh, see, don't make faces when you're pushing the button. <laughs> you don't, I don't really know where to look. When you're... Well, you don't have to look anywhere. That's the thing. It's capturing the entire thing. There's no front. There's no back. It's everything. So we're back in the live mode here. And you can see the camera doesn't exist, really. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not stitched, so that's where the line is between the two lenses, mm. you see. But once it does the stitching, it'll clean that up. Look, there's no camera. Go ahead. Try to grab the camera. There's no camera there. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, and it's 360 degrees, so I can look straight up. Mm. I can see the lighting rig. I can see everything. If you are a realtor and you're going to be capturing 360-degree images, this is the fastest way to do it. That, that one boop, and I've got the 360-degree image. I'm going to take it on my travels because I want to shoot 4K video uh, as I travel around. Oh, I think that's so cool. Yeah. Should we shoot a little video? Yeah. We're doing it right now. We're now shooting video on the Theta Cam. You can see the record time. This no longer is live because it's spending all of its energy, oh. all of its heart, little hard-earned energy mm -hmm. recording that uh, video. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Other thing that I really think makes it a pro camera is it has an array microphones. It has one, two, three, four microphones. And notice that the orientation is vertical on one side and horizontal on the other. It, it uses sophisticated computer technology to do an image of the audio so as you let's say you uh, you can upload this to facebook or youtube if somebody's using uh you know a 3d um viewing device like the samsung galaxy gear or uh the gear you know one of those devices as they turn their head the sound will go along with it which is pretty amazing oh yeah yeah Whoa. that's the image that's the image it's capturing um, it is, I think this is, I'm, I'll do a more thorough review of it, uh, in time, but I have to say, I'm very impressed. This is, uh, and of course the images then can be transferred over to your iPad. They come, uh, there is excellent software for windows and Mac to do additional stitching and so forth. Uh, these are all the images I've taken. I actually notice I have raw and JPEG. I, uh, I went outside, uh, to the back 40 because uh, I wanted to get a 360-degree image of the back 40. And this is kind of fun. I mean, to see, yeah. you really get a sense of space and place. Um, one of these, ha I was kind of surprised. I was looking at it. Let me go back and see if I can find the... <laughs> there was a deer in it. I was oh. so... It was like, wow, I didn't see him when I took the picture. But the camera sees everything on the oak forest. There's a, there's a deer like hiding in the woods over here. So, look how much I can zoom. I mean, that's yeah. that's what's remarkable. About the detail is really there. This is a very high quality. Uh, they're one-inch sensors on both sides. So, it's not for everyone. That's a lot of money to spend on a 360-degree camera. But if you are a realtor, if you are, you know, these are sp kind of specialty, but for action video, if you're a YouTuber, I imagine a lot of YouTubers will start uh, using this. Mm -hmm. The ability to shoot raw they have a Lightroom plug-in, so you can edit the raw photo and, and really process it and make it look fantastic. And I love the design. It's very easy to carry this around. As you can see, it's flat on the bottom, so you can put it on the table. It does support uh, tripods with the Cordy 20 uh, thread, so you can uh, put it on, uh, on sticks somewhere. Uh, it works really well with the Joby uh, Gorilla Pods, and it makes incredible video. I think this is kind of a specialty item kind of like drones are and, you know, underwater cameras. Uh, not not for everyone. They're not in, not uh, inexpensive. But if you're a realtor, for instance, and you want to get, or, a, you know, a landscape designer, or if you just want to, honestly, for me, I want to capture, it was a beautiful, you know, spring day in our, uh, on the back 40, and I just wanted to capture the feel of it. I should, I should play the uh, video, actually, because um, you can, the sound quality, let's see. Zenith correction. Okay, I don't know what that means. It's transferring it so I because I have to play it back. This is going to take a while. How patient are you? Do you feel patient? 
We'll just edit out this. Watch. It's going to go from 4% to 100% like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So this is a video that I recorded. So I'll play it back and listen to the sound because you can see, you'll hear the. And as I turn, oh. the sound will move as if I'm turning my head, which is kind of amazing. I wanted to capture this. This is, if I could go to work for calm.com and mm -hmm. make little serenity videos. Oh, the wind. Got protected from the wind. Or that might be my heavy breathing. There goes a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. You can actually hear it go by, which is pretty amazing. So I just, I love the idea of being able to, I want to make this wallpaper. Like, with the sound and everything. <laughs> or you could just sit back with your uh, gear of VR and watch it. Yeah. You'll see how, that's the actual. Oh. And you see, once the stitching is done, there's no line. It, the stitching really does a good job. You can't figure out where the one lens ends and the other one begins. And the ability to zoom, because it's 4K, is really good. I mean, it's starting to get a little smeary as I get way zoomed in. But still, you can... That's pretty zoomed in. I mean, that. let's go zoom in on that tree there. That motorcycle keeps going by. Or is it a... It's a 25-second loop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. So I will be doing more images and posting them on... Um, this is out in the backyard. That's uh, that's where our uh, septic uh, tank leech field is. Oh, <laughs> your mound? It's not a mound. It's beautiful. It's underground. It's not. A, it's flat. <laughs> Actually, the only the only reason I went out there is because we just got a weed whacked. Otherwise, the grass is like knee high to an elephant's eye or something. Whatever they say mm -hmm. in the in the parlance. Okay. So there you it. go, little, little fun, little toy. Now I can write it off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm exactly. really excited, and they, and I got the hard case that was a little bit extra, but it's great to have. Uh, the just just came out this week. The Rika Rico Theta Z1. I bought it because Alex Lindsay told me to. Mm, good that's reason. My, that's my excuse. But I'm actually very happy with the image quality. For that, the, nothing even comes close at twice the price, ten times the price. That's it for iOS today. We did it. Okay, I could stop with the... Yeah, the lovely sound. The 360-degree soundscape. Mm -hmm. You look so good in that hat. I think Thank we you. should we should go to Ascot or the Derby. Yes, Kentucky Derby. the Derby. Yes. I'll save it for next year. Next the Derby. year. Uh, we love it that you come and watch this show. We don't know why, but, but we're glad you do. Mm -hmm. And I hope you will come back again. We do the show every Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific. That's noon Eastern, 1600 UTC. And the reason I give you the time we shoot it is because you can watch us shoot it live uh, before we carefully edit out all the gaffes, the faux pas, the nudity. The cursing. Uh, the cursing. Uh, that uh, is at twit.tv slash live, audio and video live streaming. On-demand versions of the show are also available at twit.tv slash iOS. Probably going to have to change that, too. <laughs> and uh, you can subscribe and get it in your favorite podcast uh, program. You can see we have a few uh, buttons there, but there's a whole lot more. Any, really, any application that can download podcasts. If you subscribe, that's the best way to do it, because then you'll just have it automatically on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The minute we're done with it, finish editing and push it out, you'll download it right away. Mm -hmm. And you can subscribe on YouTube, too. That's why I watch our shows on YouTube on do you? TV. Nice. Uh, yeah, so Thank subscribe you. all the places. All the places. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be on the show, we loved it that we got those uh, those videos and the audio questions. Mm -hmm. You can do either. Send Megan a link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people send them all ways. You can share them through Apple Photos. You can use a, you know, a sharing tool. You can use Dropbox. What ifs? Just send them. And uh, then email, you, email yeah. Megan, Megan at twit.tv twit. so yeah. we know that you sent them. <laughs> yes, yeah. Just send them to me. Don't just send them out to anyone. Don't, and don't send them to me because, as you know, I don't ever check them Yeah. Um, and, you know, if you want to follow up on Twitter, send me a little DM. I sent you this. Did you get it? Um, you can do that, too. Oh, you're at Megan Maroney at on Megan Twitter. At Megan Maroney on Twitter.
on nice. Twitter. Mm -hmm. I thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Megan, for bringing your sunny persona to the show. We will be back next week with more. We'll see you then.